Okay, so let's get started. So first up, we need to have our public key certificate. Now, typically, your SSL provider will either send you the file itself or might just send you to a screen and you can uh, see this data. Um, so in my case, instead of uh, grabbing the file and FTPing it into my server, you can really just right click on that data, copy it, and then just create the file. So I'm logged into my server here and I'm going to create my file. So you can use a text editor like Vim or Nano. In my case, I'll go Nano and then the name of my cert that I want to call it, my website, com, and then I'll make a CRT extension, right? So this opens up Nano. I go paste it in there, okay? Write it out. Enter and exit, right? So now I have that file in here, okay? And you can do the same for the other two files. And now I've got my three files in there. So then we just move these files. And we move it into ETC, PKI, TLS, search. Now, you'll see here permission denied, and that's because the directory in here requires root permission. So in this case, we would go sudo, right, so that we can move all these files as the root user. So I'm going to log in as root right and you see the files are no longer here but if I go C PKI TLS certs then you see these files in here this one for the cert public key certificate the private key and then the bundle file right then next you want to edit the we browse this go, you go to the very end and add that virtual host entry so here's an example of that this is for my blog okay so you can see here I've got my virtual host entry put the server name document root which is location uh, the root location of the files to my website, specify that SSL engine is on, and then put the public key, private key, and certificate authority chain file. Just save this, and then finally we restart the HTTPD service. And in this case, I have to run it as root. There you go. So, thanks for watching.